Hey, everybody. I'm here with uh, Pedro, all the way from Brazil. And I love to have fans on from Brazil. And he is from uh, Austria. How are you? Hey, I'm, I'm fine. How are you? Wonderful. Wonderful that I have you on. And thank you so much for accommodating my schedule. Oh, uh, thanks for inviting me. Yeah, yeah. I saw... Um, you're you're hooked up on a, a lot of comps from Reverb Brazil. Uh, tell me how you and Leopoldo got to work together. Uh, <clears throat> I think the first time I talked to Leopoldo was when he was a reun uh, reunion band uh, to, uh, for a um, Ramon's uh, tribute album. And I don't, I don't remember who, who uh, told him uh, the Ustatuira had a, have a, a really nice uh, Sheen as a Punk Rocker cover. Yeah, it is recorded. really good. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Thanks. And then uh, I think he invited me, invited us to, to, to give the, our, our, our song. Or a recording, I, I think that was the, the first time I, I talked to him. Great, great. So I, I saw a, a few uh, few comps that you were on. Um, tell me about how the band started to to, to make music together, and, and when you started, and how it all came together, and, and why surf music. Sure. Well, uh, actually, I've been a bass player all for for several years, but I really loved surf music since I was a, a kid. And I think I, when I was living in Florianópolis about eight, eight years ago, I think, I bought this, this guitar, uh, a Squire Strat, and start to, started to, to learn some surf songs. The classics, uh, the ventures, the the shadows, those guys, and I had a housemate that at that time, Ronaldo. Uh, he's a guitar player as well, and we started to to jam together those songs. We we realized we both were really surf music surf music fans. And uh, we started to jam. Then I called Caio, a friend of mine, who wasn't a bass player, but he had a bass. And his father is a, a really good and famous bass player here. And then I called Vini, the drummer. Uh, he plays in another band with me. And we started to do these jams. Uh, it was really, really fun. We, we jammed the surf surf music songs, uh, made barbecues, drink beer. And we, we were really enjoying. And then we, uh, after that, we was invited to, to play in small parties, small bars. And then, ah, then we, we went to, to play on the streets, Florianópolis. Oh, nice. Yeah, it, it was the, the best part, actually, uh, I, I think I, I had never uh, got the, the experience, but it, it's really awesome. I think all musicians should, 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 should do this <laughs> at least once. Uh, it's, it's very, it's, it's incredible. It's very different to play in a, in a, in a, in a closed, closed place, you know, a space, a venue. And yeah, that was it. Awesome. Um, so tell me, um, I know Leopoldo puts on some shows. Um, mm -hmm. What is it like playing his shows? I never played because uh, uh, the, the distance here in Brazil, <laughs> like in the United States, you know, is, is the, the distance are, are big. And the, the, the shows Leopoldo, the Paul 
does are in the center of Brazil and we are in the south. So oh, it's okay. very expensive. It's very expensive and we, we, we couldn't do it yet. Okay. So this is going to come out somewhere at the end of uh, November. Um, tell me what's going to be happening by then. Will you have new songs? Will you have a, a record out? Um, any releases? Uh, well, we already have, uh, have two, two EPs with some original material. And we are, are, prepar are preparing one more. Uh, we like to, to record three, three each time, three songs. Uh, we already have this, the, the, the songs we have uh, uh, now to record are a little bit different than the, 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 the others. Uh, because we always play that kind of, uh, uh, traditional surf music. Okay. But this time we have a one of them is a psychedelic uh, cumbia, you know, like okay. chicha, like Peru, yeah, yeah, like Peruvian, Peruvian uh, Peruvian cumbia, and the other one is a a really slow tempo ballad inspired by Sleepwalk. Ah, oh, yes, yeah. Santo Inca. Yeah. yeah, it's called. Sony Lock you. <laughs> it's a word in Portuguese that means uh, uh, talk while you're sleeping. Oh, okay. I made it. Yeah, I made it. I made it for my my girlfriend. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, we, we we are preparing one more, so we 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 will have three and record, and probably make make a. A uh, show to a okay. gig to, to uh, you, you know uh, to, together with the, the record. Great. How, That's our plans. Excellent. How uh, how has it been for you to connect with all the bands? Because there's tons of bands in Brazil, especially yeah. bands that incorporate surf music. How has it been connecting with all these bands uh, in developing relationships? Oh, it's it's great. We have this uh, this group, a WhatsApp group, is <laughs> very very active. Uh, there are lots of information always uh, always running, and uh, we change lots of information and news uh, when the when the a band release some 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 songs or when a band is playing his city, its city, uh, every, everybody is, is knowing. Uh, I think everybody support and, and help, helps each other. Great. Uh, great. Yeah, that's great. Uh, there's a lot of really, really good bands. Excellent. That's, that's something I didn't know about. Uh being a part of like group chats on whatsapp that's something that's new to me so that is something i may look into that's do you, all right do you find that tool very useful very very useful uh whatsapp is is huge in brazil you know and uh for example in nostatuira we sometimes we even re rehearse on on whatsapp I mean, oh. I, yeah, I, I have an idea. I, I record it on my own. I send to the, to the boys and they record his parts, their, their parts. Oh, wow. And, and when, when we join together, everybody already know, knows his parts. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's very useful. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so I know Lost Street Jackets likes to come south. Um, but I'd like to know what your favorite band is when they come to long distance to Brazil to, to play for you guys. You mean the, the the my my favorite band in Brazil? Your favorite band? Uh, well, let's start with your favorite band in Brazil. Okay, my uh, the, uh, well. well as I said, uh, there, there are lots of bands in Brazil. 
uh, good bands, surf music. And I, but I, I like very much the Sangue de Android. Okay. I don't know if, yeah, Sangue de Android is, is, is awesome. A very nice guitar player, uh, a, a bass player uh, with the right. double bass. Yeah. They are great. What about um, your, fa your favorite uh, overall uh, modern surf group? Ah, uh, modern surf music. Yeah. Uh, I think Master Chips. Ah, yes. I just saw them the other day. Oh, really? With with my wife. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And the reverb, I... the reverb was just like it was coming <laughs> off the stage. It was crazy how loud it was. Cool. Yeah, I would love to to see them. Like yeah, I was. We were very lucky. They came very close to where I live. Ah, that's uh, cool. Yeah, so um, what did you find as inspiration to pick up the guitar in not just surf music, but any any kind of music? What what inspired you to pick up the guitar and what sound did you wanna did you want to to go with you know initially? Yeah, I I think it's like a puzzle, <laughs> lots of different, different influence. But I grew up uh, listening to punk and post punk, post punk band, post punk bands like uh, the Ramones, the Sex Pistols, the Dead Kennedys, the Misfits, the Bad Brains, and then and after that, uh, the Cure, the Smiths. I, I very influenced by by that universe. So I think uh, always when I, I'm playing, I'm trying to play surf music, but I, I always feel some uh, need to some aggressive, mm -hmm. some, yeah, you know, I, for example, I, I love the sound of the, the Strat, Strat, I, 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 I always play with tenders. I, I, I love single coils. But I don't like them too clean. I always need some overdrive, some aggressiveness, some dirty. So, so I think that's it. I, and I love Hendrix as well. I love ACDC. Uh, I think, yeah, that's it. Uh, I, I try to play surf music, but with all this, this rock background. Excellent. Uh, one question that I'm very curious about is what what part of the world is the most interesting musically to you? Like, like Australia has Martin Cilia, and then you have lots of European bands, and then you have, of course, North America and South America, and lots of great music in Mexico. Um, what what part of the the world do you find is the most interesting right now? Most interesting. It's a good question. It's difficult to ask uh, as well. Uh, actually, uh, like I said, I grew up listening to to punk rock, and so I very I'm very influenced by. Uh, North American and European and uh, British bands, mm -hmm. you know. So, so I think that I, I I wouldn't say it's the most interesting, but for me, <laughs> that uh, yeah, uh, uh, the the classic rock. I, I mean, the, the 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 rock and roll from the seventies. Yeah, yeah. It's it's the my. It's my my cup of tea. Awesome, awesome. So before we before we sign off, I'd like to uh, give you the opportunity to maybe mention something that I haven't asked, or ask me a question, or you know, just finish up on your own. Okay. Oh, let uh, let me think. Well, uh, you already 
uh, tell us about the the uh, good bands in Brazil. But I I will say, it, yeah, uh, there's lots of good bands in Brazil, surf music bands and rock bands and Brazilian music. Is, uh, it's a very musical place, and I would say everybody should check it out. That's it. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Pedro, and uh, I really enjoyed meeting you and getting to know your music, and, and thank you so much for being so flexible with your time. It means a lot to me. Okay, uh, yeah, thanks for inviting me. It was great. My first interview in English. <laughs> cool.